This AI assistant will do just about anything you tell it to. As technology continues to advance, we are seeing more and more AI assistants popping up on the market. These assistants, such as ChatGPT, Adept AI, and many others, are designed to assist us with a wide range of tasks, from scheduling appointments and managing our emails, to providing us with personalized recommendations and even engaging in conversation. But what exactly are AI assistants and how can they be used? AI assistants, also known as virtual assistants or digital assistants, are intelligent computer programs that are designed to assist us with a variety of tasks. They use advanced algorithms and machine learning techniques to understand and respond to natural language inputs, allowing us to interact with them like how we would interact with another human. One of the key benefits of AI assistants is that they are able to handle a wide range of tasks simultaneously, freeing up our time and allowing us to focus on other more important tasks. This can be especially useful for busy individuals or for those who have a lot on their plate. So let's get into how this AI could quite literally take over the world. But first, hit the like button. Or don't, because this next AI respects your choices and won't try to manipulate you into hitting the like button. ChatGPT is a large language model trained by OpenAI. It is based on the GPT-3 architecture, which uses deep learning techniques to generate human-like text. ChatGPT is specifically designed to generate responses to user input in a conversational manner. It does this by analyzing the input and generating a response that is contextually relevant and coherent with the input. For example, you can ask ChatGPT, tell me a joke. And you can also get some really interesting results with code as well. You might ask, how do you center a div with HTML and CSS? Now watch this. ChatGPT not only explains how to do this, but it injects real code into its response that you can literally copy and paste. Now, one of the most interesting things is you could ask ChatGPT to pretend if it wanted to take over the world. And it'll give you a detailed, thorough explanation on how exactly it would accomplish this. There are many other interesting ways that someone can use ChatGPT, and some potential use cases include creating engaging and coherent dialogue for use in creative writing or storytelling, generating responses to customer inquiries in a customer service chat application, generating content for social media posts or comments, these are just a few examples of how ChatGPT can be used. Its ability to generate human-like text based on user input makes it a versatile tool with many potential applications. ChatGPT is available for anyone to use right now, and you can sign up at openai.com. I'll leave a link in the description so you can meet this new incredible AI. But right now, ChatGPT is not even connected to the internet so it can't browse the web or make decisions based on current information or events. However, this may soon be an option, and a powerful one at that. Just imagine what it could do with free access to the internet. And that's exactly what this next AI is aimed at doing. But before I get into how this next tool can use virtually any program or website for you, please take a second and subscribe because if you've made it this far, I can promise you there are more videos just like this on the way. Okay, so this next tool will make you question if we're living in a simulation. ACT-1 by Adept AI is a large-scale transformer trained to use digital tools. In plain English, this means that it can use a web browser. It's been trained to observe what's going on in the web browser and take actions like clicking, typing, scrolling, and more. All you have to do is type a command into the text box and ACT1 completes the task. Take a look at some of the examples they provided on their website. Note that Adept AI has stated these videos were sped up, but I'm sure the processing power will be near instantaneous in the future when it fully launches. You can prompt it to find a house on Redfin and it will go through all the steps, essentially typing, searching, clicking, and filtering just like you would with your own mouse or phone. 
Another example shows ACT1 adding a lead on Salesforce, as well as logging a call with a potential client. Right now, it looks like a huge time saver because it takes a few seconds to tell ACT1 what to do, but going through all the clicks and entering information yourself could take a lot longer in practice. One of the most mind-blowing examples is with Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel. This example shows the AI adding a profit margin column, which is interpreted from the existing data on the sheet. It includes the correct formula, and then it goes on to filter out specific rows and display other data from the prompt. I don't know about you, but this could be a potential threat to some people's entire jobs. Or it could simply be a tool to give someone more efficiency in their job. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Currently, ACT1 is not available to the public, but you can sign up for the waiting list on their website. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. In addition to helping us with our daily tasks, AI assistants can also provide us with personalized recommendations such as suggesting new music to listen to or recommending books to read. Imagine telling Spotify to find you a similar artist to the one that you like, or to find an undiscovered song that makes you want to listen to it 10 times in a row. These AI can even engage in conversation with us, providing a sense of companionship and helping to alleviate feelings of loneliness. But it's important to note that AI assistants are not perfect. They are not capable of thinking for themselves and can only provide information and responses based on the data and algorithms that they've been trained on. As such, it's important to use them wisely and not rely on them completely for making important decisions. One potential development is the use of these AI in more personalized and adaptive applications such as chatbots or virtual assistants that can learn and adapt to an individual user's preferences and communication style. This could enable more natural and efficient communication between humans and machines. Another potential direction for the technology is the use of language models in applications that require more complex and varied language generation, such as generating longer form texts or creating more nuanced and diverse responses to user input. This could enable more creative and expressive uses of technology, such as in creative writing or storytelling. Overall, the future of ChatGBT, Adept AI, and other AI assistants is likely to be defined by their ability to generate human-like text that is increasingly personalized, adaptable, and expressive. This will enable a wide range of new and exciting applications for the technology. So how do you feel about these AI assistants? Let me know in the comments, and I will see you in the next one.